Recently, in the southern city of Busan, university students from South Korea and Japan held a memorial event commemorating Lee Soo Hyun, a symbol of friendly relations between the two countries. It was an eye-catching event given the two countries' relations, which had been on a worsening path after Seoul's Supreme Court ruling last year on compensation for forced labor victims during World War II and Japan's retaliatory measures against it. This week, Korean Elm will look into the sacrifice of Lee Soo Hyun, a Korean hero who died trying to save a Japanese man who fell into subway tracks and the recent commemorating ceremony. Lee Soo Hyun, a language exchange student, died in January 2001 at the age of 26 while trying to rescue a 47-year-old drunk Japanese man who fell onto metro tracks at Tokyo's Shinokuba station. Returning from a part-time job, the Korean student was waiting for the train at the station on January 26 at 7.15 p.m. Seeing the drunk man fall onto the tracks, he jumped straight onto the tracks to save him even though the train was approaching. Second Shiro, a photographer who was looking at this, jumped together and tried to rescue the drunk man, but all three were hit by a train and killed on the spot. Born in Ulsan, he spent his childhood in Busan and entered Korea University's Sejong campus, then Sachan campus in 1993 majoring in trade. He studied Japanese for a year and a half while attending school, and this had led him to be interested in trade with Japan. After taking a gap year in July 1999, he left for Tokyo in January the following year and was studying Japanese at the Akamonkai Language School before he died in the accident. From his memo, left on his memorial site, one can guess his character and positive personality. The late E is regarded as a symbol of friendly ties between the two countries, given that a Korean student died while trying to save a Japanese man. In particular, it gave a fresh shock to the Japanese, in that he lost his life trying to save a Japanese man who was an utter stranger. More than 1,000 Japanese, including then Prime Minister Yoshiro Mori, attended the memorial service at the Kamokai Japanese School in 2001. His sacrifice greatly improved the image of Koreans in Japan. In April 2001, a memorial board was set up at Shinokuba Station in Tokyo, the site of the accident. Since then, a memorial service was held every year on January 26th in front of the board, in honor of him with the support of JR East. One year after his death, a scholarship was established to financially support Asian students who study in Japanese language schools like he did. In memory of his sacrifice, producers from the two Northeast Asian neighbors joined hands in 2006 for the production of a biographical movie on Ni, titled 26 Years Diary, or I Won't Forget You in Korean and Japanese. In October last year, former Japanese Prime Minister Yukio Hatoyama also paid respect for himself at Yongrak Park in Busan, where Yi was buried. Events to honor Yi's noble sacrifice continued even now. Last Saturday, the beautiful youth Lee Suhyun's club, composed of Korean and Japanese university students, held a memorial event in Busan. Some 30 college students from the two countries divided into three teams of 10 students and each made three video clips. They visited Naesong High School where he attended and Yongnak Park and screened those video clips for the first time at the residence of the Japanese consulate in Busan the same day. The videos will be released later this month on YouTube after further editing. At a time when Jisomia, a military information sharing agreement between South Korea and Japan is on the verge of ending, a small gesture by those students from the two countries to honor his sacrifice is grabbing public attention. What are your thoughts on this? Please let me know in the comments below and thank you for watching Korea Now.